Hi, you're watching Talk City Hall, the program where Dayton's mayor and commissioners talk to you about issues and opportunities in Dayton. I'm Brian Talby, and today we're visiting with Mayor Gary Leitzel, and we're at Basho, a new retail uh, and print shop on East Fifth Street. That's right. Uh, Basho is uh, one of our, um, I guess, activated spaces. Uh, it's created these pop-up shops, and it's one of our uh, small business enterprises that's uh, Settled here in the Oregon District. It's at 521, 523 East 5th. Um, on first Fridays, I've stopped in here and looked around, and they, they make their own apparel, and, and they have art on the wall for sale. And uh, I would tell anyone to come on down to the Oregon District, particularly on first Friday, because all the places down here are open till 10 o'clock at night, and take a look and uh, experience the Oregon District on first Fridays in date. Good. I understand they also do uh, wholesale apparel printing for other businesses as well as have an all-green um, press that has no toxic um, components to it. Right, which is one of the things we're trying to push for here in Dayton is more of a green approach to things. So I would recommend anyone come down to Basho and, uh, and check it out. Again, it's at 521 and 523 East 5th Street. Okay. And, of course, this is just one of many um, popular destinations folks can find on the Urban Nights events, and our Spring Urban Nights is coming up on May 11th. Right, May 11th, uh, come on downtown to Dayton. Uh, we have these events twice a year, in May and in September, and it's an opportunity for people to come downtown, businesses stay open, uh, restaurants are open, stores are open. There's lots of fun activity going on in the streets. There's uh, things happening on the corners. We've got buskers. It's a great Great evening for everybody. Come on down uh, to downtown Dayton for Urban Nights and experience it. And it, it's all over the city. I mean, you can't just end up in one place. It's all over the city. It's on West 3rd. The Art Institute's now involved. Uh, downtown, the Oregon District, Front Street. I mean, it's, it's a phenomenal event. We've got trolleys running, thousands of people walking mm -hmm. around, uh, showing off some of the housing opportunities down here, some of the business opportunities. So, uh, yes, I like to push Urban Nights. It's a great event for, and it's family fun. Right. Great showcase for our center city. Absolutely. So the city of Dayton continues to go green in many ways. I know uh, the enhanced recycling program has been underway for a year or so now, mm -hmm. and we've reached an important milestone there recently. We are uh, consistently over 500 tons a month in recyclables, which means we are paying nothing to dispose of them. Uh, Rumpke will take them uh, off our hands free of charge and process them and, and, and turn the product into a marketable commodity. Uh, we're pushing for 1,000 tons. I mean, we want people to recycle more because the more we give Rumpke for recycling, the less we are paying to dispose of in a landfill. So there's a big push uh, for recycling here in Dayton just to, just, just to uh, cut the costs to taxpayers for, for trash disposal. And probably about 70% of everything we throw away is recyclable. So cardboard, cereal boxes, glass jars, plastic containers, the waxy cartons that juice comes in, all of that is recyclable. So don't throw it away put it in the recycling bin, and we'll give it to Rumpke to take. Good. And even our convention center has gone green with a lot of new uh, investment recently in green technologies, everything from lighting to uh, escalators, energy-saving escalators. Yes. I, I know at City Hall we did some stuff with lighting several years back to, to reduce costs. I know the city manager is always talking about using LEDs. We're looking at ways to put LEDs in our street lights because it cuts the energy costs. And uh, I know we just signed a contract with uh, uh, the energy company, the electric company, to reduce uh, our expenditures at a lower rate. We're saving millions of dollars there. So anytime we can cut the cost of energy and, and fuel um, to save money, it's a good thing, and it also helps the environment. And we're definitely, uh, We definitely want to be known as a, as a, a green city. So uh, you know, I encourage anybody to uh, switch out those incandescent lights for CFLs or LEDs and uh, save money on their own energy bills. And, and let's all work together to becoming more of a green city. And I'm sure that's one of the topics you'll be covering in your upcoming State of the City uh, yes. speech, which happens on May 10th. Yes, on May 10th at Belmont School, uh, which opened last year. It's a high school that opened last year. We'll be doing the uh, State of the City speech. Um, did it uh, last year at the Croc Center, which opened the previous year. I like to take these speeches out into the community because uh, I'm kind of known as the community mayor, so I, I like to do them out in the community. And I like to build on the successes of the previous year. So, uh, yes, that's definitely something that will be incorporated in, in the speech regarding uh, green, you know, becoming a green city and becoming more energy efficient. So, uh, yeah. if you're out and about on May 10th on Friday, come out, no, it's a Thursday, come out to, um, come out to Belmont School off of Wayne Avenue and uh, 
here in the state of City Speaks. Okay. And our viewers can go to www.daytonohio.gov for more information on that and as well as all the other programs you've mentioned. I, absolutely. Go to the website and, and, and roam around it. There's lots of interesting stuff you find, and you can uh, search in that little search box on the right-hand side at the top, um, and it's amazing what you can find in the records of the city's website. So. Okay. Well, thanks, Mayor Letzel, for joining me today. Well, thank you, Brian. Thank you. And thank you for watching Talk to City Hall.